Hey friends, it's Dana and Walrus. Today I've got a pastel apartment build. I built this last weekend, and of course I'm just now getting around to doing the voiceover. Also, you might hear my washer and dryer going, and you may hear my husband in the background playing Call of Duty. Anyway, as promised, if you watched the last video, I use a different set of kitchen counters, the base game ones, that they have recolored, which is really nice. I don't remember when they did it. But, I mean, I went with white, so it's not like I'm, you know, really breaking out here. But they are different counters, so quote me on it, and I'll deliver. Yeah. Anyway, I started out with that really cute, like, toaster oven situation from Dream Home Decorator on the counter. Uh, and I do really like that. I want to use that in another build, but it needs to be a bigger kitchen. Um, you'll see here I end up swapping some things out. I think I put in... A coffee maker yeah this turquoise one um i really liked that coral with the turquoise but i don't know something was off about it in the counter space there wasn't room to do any like extra decorating or anything so anyway this is what we went with and over here i initially had a little table over there but then i decided to put in this closet from uh, get together there's also a couple of wardrobes in the bedroom which you'll see and I started off with this mirror from the pastel pop kit. I ended up getting rid of it, but I think I would have, I think I wish I would have left it, to be honest. It's actually really cute. Now Wally's in here meowing. You know, this is what you can expect in a Diana Walrus voiceover. Um, and I always try to use that mirror from the pastel pop kit, but you can't, like it's so far up the wall. It just doesn't work out. But anyway, I put this mirror here because in my head, I was like, you need a mirror when you walk out the door. That's not really true. I wish I would have left the little tiny one with the heart from the pastel pop kit, but alas, I did not. So I'm just adding some clutter. I have the phone and the keys from that clutter kit, as well as this one with the glasses and it looks like a watch and maybe like some kind of little notepad on there. I've never zoomed in close enough to see. And then the flowers from the pastel pop kit. So yeah, now you have your cute little entryway to hang up your coat, put your keys and shit down and you're ready to go. These curtains are my favorite curtains from Desert Luxe Kit. And then the base game aprons over there and paintings from Pastel Pop Kit. And over here, I'm going to dig into the ones from Tiny Living because they have, I think these are perfect for the kitchen, little cupcake ones. And they're pastel, so it works out. Now we're into the living room. This took me ages. Like, I cut out so much footage where I tried all different configurations at one point, I had a wall full of bookshelves with a TV in the middle, which wasn't bad, but there's something about this apartment where everything looks like blown out. Like the colors are, uh, I don't know. I was struggling with it. Uh, but here you'll see all this stuff on the ground because I just kept like picking things out. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to re-record this to make it look like I naturally found all these items. I sat there and was picking and choosing and nobody really wants to watch all that. So... Um, next to the TV there, it's got that little, like, I think it's, like, CDs and a little controller. I believe that came with high school years, but I've never used it. And it's really cute for a living room and clutter. But yeah, I put the board games on there and then a couple of books and, like, study pads on that coffee table. Also, when I started to edit this, I noticed that I left some books on the floor in front of the couch, which you'll see in a minute. I'm fairly certain I didn't delete those. I didn't pay attention to my screenshots, but those might be those might still be there when you if you download this from the gallery. <laughs> um, I think that set of paintings right there is from the movie Hangout Kid, I believe. But I ended up making like a little gallery wall um, after I tried a few things out. I think it turned out pretty cute. And the couch is from high school years. I love that couch because it's got the pillows on it and that little throw blanket. We need more things like that. I actually even like that pattern, and I'm normally not big into patterns. But yeah, came together pretty good. Now I'm picking out the lights, um, which is actually kind of difficult. I wanted to do some above those paintings, uh, but nothing worked out, so you'll see in a second. I'm just gonna do some drop lights in front of them, and then I try out a few different hanging ones, but I go with these from, I think, Dream Home Decorator? Yes. These are one of my favorite uh, lights in the game. 
back here was difficult to decorate. So I put those little plants there and I actually think I end up swapping them out with the painting by the time I upload this. And then I put that lamp there and I think I would have rather had the lamp in the corner by the TV. Um, so your sim actually has to walk in front of the couch and around. Uh, you might just want to delete it. Honestly, I just thought it looked cute and I was like, I'm going to leave it here, but it, it does all work there. It's just, it's a little wonky placement. So we're onto the bedroom. This bed is actually from that family kit growing together. <laughs> uh, I really like this swatch with the purple bedding. And those little side tables are from high school years. So I'm, again, I'm doing turquoise and purple, which is also what I did in the living room. And then I think I just put a couple of lamps on the side tables. I'm not sure if I decorate any further than that, to be honest. But yeah, drop the rug here. And this wardrobe gets deleted. Um, I got this base game on them. I don't know if they've recolored this. They must have, because I I used to never use this, and now it's got a bunch of amazing swatches. But yeah, I put two in there, because this apartment is so small. I was like, we need more storage than just that front closet. And then I also do this cute um, hanging set from high school years, because I've always liked the idea of having a little clothes rack in your room where you can just hang your clothes for the week. Um, I would like that in real life. Also, these little shelves have, like, no snap points, which is so super annoying so I I go back and forth here trying to put some stuff on it I think I cut the footage out to be honest it went, it went on for so long <laughs> oh yeah I did put some things on these side tables I guess that little makeup set on one side and the other side looks like a camera and a little place for coins or keys or jewelry even yeah and then we do a mirror in the bedroom so obviously you can check out your fit before you head off to work or school or wherever and I also did that little clutter pile of clothes right there and here I'm just gonna hang a painting on the wall and guess what we're already running up oh wait one more thing we'll see <laughs> let me drop these lamps I just want to mention it before we hit the screenshots I did want to do a little office area but I couldn't find a spot so you'll see me here put in that little uh like tablet from pastel pop kit yep there you go thank you all for watching uh we'll see you next time leave me some comments and let me know what you would like to see on the next one bye